established in 2019 in fulfillment of the Kingdom's government policy and powered by predominant local talent with strategic guidance of its esteemed board of directors and executive leadership, BNET set out to transform connectivity in Bahrain. This is the story of a vision brought to reality by its people. During COVID-19, we had uh, the interesting challenge of having to work together yet remotely. We found that the best solution to set up this new operator effectively was to go fully online. We've set up what is known as a cloud native company. All of our systems are business support systems, operation support systems, administrative systems. That includes the, the collaboration tools that we relied upon to ensure the success of this launch. When you set up a company like Beanet, it is important that you worked with your stakeholders to earn, first and foremost, their trust. They saw our direction quite early on, and we were very happy to work with them throughout this transition. We turned the relationship about so that we reach out to our customers, to all the operators in Bahrain, particularly because Bahrain is the only country in the region that fully liberalized the sector. We have a large number of operators. The current fiber coverage is 97.9. We are focusing on connecting the rest, which is a moving target. We are ensuring that new cities and new properties are connected with fiber. We are working with all government agencies and entities. We work closely with Minister of Housing to ensure that new housing projects are connected with fiber. We ensure that every single room, whether it is a building, flat or home, are connected with fiber. Our network is catering for current and future demands, as well as the latest what's happening in the market. Telecommunications as an industry is a key enabler for any other. How do we improve the competitive positioning of Bahrain? We have to be proactive about how we deploy our infrastructure. In Bahrain, we don't wait for the, for the orders to come in, we redeploy. We ensure everywhere is ready, is wired up with fiber, and within a few days, once we receive the, the order, and in most cases within the same day, fiber is delivered to you. We now see uh, an area for improvement inside our residences. And so we need to ensure that it gets to every room inside the house. And one of the key initiatives that we're doing in that regard is the fiber to the room connectivity. That's one major initiative. And another one is working with, with society to ensure that we perform our duties when it comes to sustainability. How can we improve that or assist in improving that? Within the past few years, uh, we realized how much people rely on broadband um, as an enabler. And um, as our own initiative, we, we've taken the minimum speeds in Bahrain from 20 megabits to 50 megabits to 100 megabits to today, the minimum speed is 300 megabits. And we've done something uh, very dissimilar to other countries in that we also looked at a very key area that others don't, which is the upload speed. You'll find in most economies, the upload speed is usually a tenth of the download or maybe less. Realizing that this is a content creating generation they care as much about the upload as they do the, do the download. And so instead of following that same philosophy, we felt let's, let's open up the tap a bit. And so now you'll find that in almost all the, the packages that, that we offer as a wholesale, the upload is half the download. And I think that is something rare for you to find in, uh, in many uh, economies. government, we have partners, vendors, suppliers. We have to go and first seek their requirements, current and future requirements. Once we obtain their requirements, then we go and ensure that our network is capable of supporting his current and future requirements. We have very clear strategy. Uh, we have uh, process automation in place. We have advanced, resilient, and digitized network in place. We have systems and applications in place. Then we have the right people in place with the right skills and knowledge. KPI is very important and appreciated by all. So we can call it KPI-driven culture. The dearest recognition to my heart has to be the investors and people recognition. Achieving the, the gold certification from the first attempt and being within the top 3% of tel telcos worldwide tells me that we're doing something right, which is really a, comp a company that works for its employees so that they can actually achieve the tasks that are set out ahead of them. Maybe a few months into the establishment of the company, we, we tried to set the right tone, and that is by listening to our employees, by saying, 
what value do you hold most dear? And we found that a common theme throughout the entire company uh, culminated in four values. Being respectful for all, uh, genuinely fair, and, uh, collaborative and empowering for the future. Focusing on, tho on those, ensuring you have the right environment for people to thrive, I think was a key factor. At BNET, our talent strategy is built on mainly three pillars, developing technical expertise, building leadership capabilities, and creating a future-ready mindset. We are not only preparing our people for today's job, but for where the telecom sector is heading towards full digital transformation, AI, and next generation network. Our global collaboration with national broadband networks, which is the MBNs, from Europe to Asia, bring a direct benefit to Bahrain. They allow us to exchange expertise, adapt global best practices, and fast-track innovation in our fiber infrastructure. This means faster and more reliable connectivity for Bahrain's people and businesses. It positions BNET to stay ahead of technological trends while supporting the kingdom's digital transformation goals. In the long run, these partnerships elevate Bahrain's telecom sector regionally and globally, reinforcing our vision of becoming a leading digital hub. Innovation is, is the fuel with which we operate. We've set up our uh, BNET Innovates campaign. That is where we, we uh, set up a group of mentors to work with people who have ideas that they'd like to champion and innovate. We're a wholesaler and we, we excel in power and buildings, in facility management, in, in tower management, and many, many other areas. We look to the world. There's no limit, really. We have a brilliant model that we've developed here, and we'd like it to see it replicated elsewhere.